morning. My name is Valentine Bamalo, and uh, on behalf of uh, Brandon Dodd and myself, I'm presenting a, a progress report on a tin cracking in Tennessee. So the outline of what I'm going to talk about today is the uh, equipment design, the equation of the reaction, design summary of the stromatric uh, reactor, design variables, the constraint, the decisions taken, and then the conclusion. And then the equipment design, that's the equipment that we have already designed, although we are still uh, making some adjustments depending on the, some, uh, some inputs, the ethane and the steam, the mixing unit, the stromatic uh, reactor, the heat exchanger, the condenser, the hydrogen converter. Actually, we had to introduce a hydrogen converter to help us uh, to take away the hydrogen before it gets down to the uh, distillation column and then uh, the compressor. Actually, we are still working on the distillation column. Then uh, on the equation of the reaction, actually, we had to make some adjustments based on uh, what we had on, uh, the last time we did the presentation. So this is the equation of the reaction. Assuming about the 13 moles of uh, ethane is being cracked, it's going to give us about 6 moles of uh, ethylene and 3 moles of uh, unreacted ethane and then 6 moles of hydrogen and 2 moles of methane and then 2 moles of uh, propane. So uh, basically, we designed a stromatric uh, reactor. That is uh, specifically on the one that we, we worked on. That is the one we decided to talk about. And then we have a height of about 6 meters and a diameter of about 3 meters. And the operating conditions of about temperature of about 8 to 29 degrees centigrade. We have a heat DT of uh, 500,000 uh, kilojoules per second. And a heat of reaction of about 346,180 kilojoules per minute. And a pressure of three atmosphere. The enthalpy of the reaction is at 346,180 kilojoules per minute. And then the fractional conversion is about one. And then the flow rate of ethane going in into the mixing unit was a 33 kilojoule, uh, kilogram per second and the steam is a 13 kilogram per second. So the, the design variables that we chose were we chose a temperature of about 829 degrees centigrade because this will actually affect the, 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 the heat of reactions and then what is actually supposed to transpire in the, in the reactor, in the stromatic reactor. Then the pressure is about three atmosphere and we decided to make it an isothermal uh, reactor. And then also the flow rate of the ethane was a uh, three kilojoule per second and that of steam is a uh, 13 kilogram per second. Actually, why we decided to use that was because this is something that is going to be possible to help the reaction to take place. Actually, the steam is not in, involved in the reaction, but this is only going to help us not to be able to produce more coke. It will help us to be able to fasten the reaction. So we decided to take uh, the, 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 the ratio, the more ratio of the steam to the ethane, that is one to 0 0.4. This will actually help us to be able to facilitate the, the reaction. And some of the constraints that we had was a, is supposed to is a single reactor so, and what I mean by a single reactor is that uh, it's a one-time reactor, and then uh, some of the unreacted ethane, for we to be able to take care of it, we decided to recycle it back to the system. And then we also decided, we also have to dis determine the, uh, the stoichiometry, the ratios of the components of the reaction. Normally, in some reactions, either you move it through, and then at the end of it all, you can be able to determine the components that are coming out. So, but for the stromatory reactor, you need to determine the the components of what is going in and what is coming out. Actually, we did a balance, and I, to some extent, it helped us to do, why we did that was that we are able to control the parameters of what are coming out, because there are some other options of the product that are supposed to come out from the reactors. And then in conclusion, we are still working on the distillation column, and the design report will meet the deadline. Thank you.